morning, everyone. Welcome to our Primary Parents Award Ceremony. This morning, we're here to celebrate the achievements of our students over the past academic year. As you can see from the presentation, we've been very busy again this year, learning and growing, and as the hummingbird reminds us, doing the best we can. This has been an innovative and exciting year for SIS Primary. Our students have been improving their English language skills, earning blue wristbands for speaking English as much as possible, and collecting merit certificates and Star of the Week awards in recognition of their commitment to their schoolwork and their homework. In maths, many of our students are now logging in and using the Mathletics program. This has been helping to sharpen their mental math skills and allows the students to challenge themselves against their friends in class and around the globe. It's proved so popular that some of our students are now regular faces on the Mathletics Global Leaderboard. However, our biggest change this year has been the introduction of the International Primary Curriculum. This skills-focused programme of study is helping us fulfil our vision to be a leading international school, embracing the best principles of East and West to create tomorrow's generation of global leaders. As a dedicated international curriculum, IPC encourages our students to think for themselves, ask questions, and use what they already know to build on their knowledge, skills, and understanding. At the end of each unit of work, students plan a creative way in which to showcase their learning to their classmates and their families. This year in primary, we've seen a number of such creative learning celebrations, such as turning the school into an airport for the day, the design and building of eco-resorts, a rainforest cafe, an auction of student artwork, and a school museum full of ancient artefacts. I know that the teachers and students have really enjoyed this international style of learning and have had great fun preparing these events for you to visit this year. As an international school, we're committed to providing your child with a wealth of different learning opportunities. And this year, many students have joined visits off campus as well as participating in workshops or theme days. For example, in October, we welcomed an international storyteller from the United States of America. And in March, we hosted a children's author from the UK. Last month, nine of our year four boys represented SIS Primary at the Fabicia International Sports Tournament in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. These experiences are not only engaging and interesting, but are key to helping develop international mindedness in our students and producing confident learners for the future. In addition to our daily timetable, this year we've encouraged and developed creativity, action and service in our after-school CAS programme. Many of our students have learned a new skill, such as cricket or golf, or improved their sporting abilities in taekwondo, swimming or soccer, or perhaps discovered new talents in yoga, chess, cookery or journalism. It's fantastic to see our students participating in the CAS programme as it enables them to work with different groups of friends and teachers and shows an open-minded attitude to learning. The celebration today is all about the students. For us as teachers, the students are easily the best part of SIS. For me, it's wonderful to come in every day to school and work and learn alongside such smart, engaging and committed children. Our students fulfill the IPC goals in so many ways. They're inquiring, moral, adaptable, and respectful. And they demonstrate this in their personal relationships with each other and with their teachers. In school, we know that for us to do the best we can for the students, we require the support of our parents and families. And so on behalf of all the primary school staff, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you as parents not only for supporting your child, but for supporting us in school this year. We've really enjoyed welcoming you to our IPC exit points, music recitals, assemblies and shows. As an international school, we recognise that every student here today is unique and talented, and a credit to us as teachers and you as parents. We're very proud of them, and we hope that you enjoy sharing this celebration with them today. I wish you all a restful summer, and we look forward to doing the best we can again next school year. Thank you.
And now to begin our celebration, I'm going to invite Panny and Jump from Year 5, and they have a music presenta presentation for us from their Thai music class. first presentations this morning are for our students in year one and two. We'd like to acknowledge the work that the students have done throughout the school year and present each student in, year, in classes 1MD, 1SN, 2LM and 2PB with a certificate which recognises all their work during the school year. We're going to invite each class up and then we're going to present the certificates um, for each student and at the end for each class we'll give each class a warm round of applause. Okay, Asia. Well done, Asia. Well done, Bim. Well done, Asia. Well done, Bim. Well done, Jam. Well done, Jim. Well done, Jin Jin. Well done, John. Well done, Kate. Well done, Kelly. <laughs> well done, Mark. Well done, Penny. Well done, Prawa. Well done, Rose. Well done, Rose. Good girl. 
And well done, win-win. All right, now for one SL. And uh, perhaps if we can just hold our applause until the end, until everybody's name's been read out. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Congratulations to Under. Congratulations to Bam. And well done, Beauty. Well done, Boa. And congratulations, Cream. Well done, Focus. Well done, Grace. And congratulations, Gaia. Okay, and well done, Jin Marie. Well done, Minnie. Well done, Kalpan. Okay, and well done, Mackenzie. Congratulations, Nazim. Okay, and well done to Nobby. Okay, congratulations to P. Okay, and well done to Prook. And well done to Pun. And last but not least, congratulations to Tong Wang. Okay, in year two LM, I'd like to say congratulations to Annie. And well done, Aya. Congratulations, Baibua. Congratulations, Damien. Well done, Dan. Well done, Hill. Well done, Emmy. And congratulations, Jean. Well done, Aria. Aria. <laughs> and well done, Claire.
Congratulations, Alan. Congratulations, Mac. Well done, Mai. Congratulations, Mint. Okay, well done, Nano. Congratulations, Obi Wan. Well done, Prow. And congratulations, Win. Um, well done, Ying. And finally, congratulations, Zen. Um, I'd like to congratulate uh, Class 2PB, um, Angie. <laughs> Aya. Ink. Janjel. New Prem. Om. Oscar. Pem. Princess <laughs> Pun San Sandra Stephen Turbo And Vita. Vita. Well done, Vita. Good girl. Congratulations. Congratulations to Year 1 and Year 2 students. And now we would like to present the awards for academic achievement in Thai and in Mandarin. I'd like to invite Dr. Visser, our school director, to come and help present those certificates. Thank you, Dr. Visser.
So our first category is for academic achievement in Thai, and the winner in year one is Jem. And the winner in year two is Zen. The winner in year three is Saint. The winner in year four is Peachy. The winner in year five is Jeddah. And the winner in year six is Ray. Our next award category is for Mandarin, and the winner in year one is Rose. The winner in year two is Om. The winner in year three is Pim. The winner in year four is Amy. The winner in year five is Mont. And the winner in year six is Pep. Congratulations to our award winners in Thai and Mandarin. Now I'd like to invite Pim, Wow, Ice and Mew, and they're going to perform some Thai music for us from their music class.
Thank you. Now I would, I would like to invite the classes from Year 3 and 4, Year 3 ZF, Year 3 DM, Year 4 FS and Year 4 NV to come and collect their certificates in recognition of their academic work this year. Congratulations to all of Year 3 DM. First of all, we have Almond. Next, we have Bank. Congratulations to Charge. Well done, Cho. <clears throat> Congratulations, Farsai. Well done to Gundam. Congratulations to Jedi. And to Jonna too, congratulations. Well done, King. Congratulations to Leo. Congratulations, Miko. Well done, Murfin. Congratulations, Nampai. Congratulations to Pass. Well done, Penny. Congratulations to Prook. Congratulations, Prowl. Well done to Saint. And last of all, congratulations to Thames. Uh, next, I would like to introduce 3ZF to receive their certificates. So, well done, Ander. Well done, Angela. Well done, Bank. Well done, Best. Well done, Chai Min. Well done, Cherry. Well done, Shogun. Well done, Enzo. Well done, Eaton. Well done, Gan. Well done, Gus. Well done, Jim Fong. Well done, Kin. Well done, P. Well done, Party. Well done, Pim. Well 
Well done, Pooper. Well done, Roger. Well done, Tonkau. Well done, Tony. And well done, Tyler. Four FS have had a fantastic year this year, and I'm really proud of every single one of them. So a big congratulations to Amy. <laughs> Bebe. <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> Jita. Kanoon Gong Lena Lisa Matthew Mimi <laughs> Nok Young <laughs> Pupa <laughs> Pim <laughs> Tam Okay, so I'd like to say a big uh, congratulations to all of 4NV. So we have Ai. Beck. Shami. Dew. Elmo. Faye, Hi. 
Hero. Jihua. Kimmy. Manu. Mew Mew. Moo Moo. Namping. Nina. Pam. Pat. Peachy. Peak. Thomas. And Zir. Congratulations to Year 3 and Year 4 students. And now we'd like to present the awards for academic achievement in music and in PE. And I'd like to invite Mr Andrew, our assistant principal, to come and present those awards for us. Thank you, Mr Andrew. So our first set of awards are for music, and the winner in year one for music is Gaia. The winner in year two um, is Nano. The winner in year three is Cho. The winner in year four is Beck. The winner in year five is Iraq. And the winner in year six is Boss. And the awards for achievement in PE. The winner in year one is Beauty. The winner in year two is Stephen. The winner in year three 
is Tyler. The winner in year four is Manu. The winner in year five is Wow. And the winner in year six is Palm. Now I would like to invite all our students from year one to three to come to the stage. On Thursday we have our show called The Magic of Reading and this morning the students would like to give you a little preview from the show. They're going to sing one song from their show, it's called It's My Book.
Thank you, year one, two, and three. Now I'm looking forward to seeing more of your show on Thursday. Now we'd like to make the presentations for achievement in year five and six, congratulating on our, our students on all their work during the school year. So we're going to start with year five KS. Okay, I'd like to offer a big congratulations to everybody in 5KS. Uh, congratulations to Bank. Congratulations, Bonus. Congratulations, Book. Well done, Cartoon. Well done, Indy. Congratulations, Jump. Congratulations, Lena. Congratulations, Lib. Well done, Mayor. And well done, Mock. Congratulations to Pan Pan. Congratulations, Panny. Congratulations, Pimmy. Congratulations, Prayer. And congratulations, Sherlyn. Okay, I'd like to say a big thank you and well done to all the students of Year 5 JT. So we have Better Gen, well done Better Gen. And well done Ice. Well done Iraq. Well done JJ. Well done, Jeddah. Well done, Luke. Congratulations to Mech. Congratulations, Mew. Well done to Mont. And well done, Mook. Well done, Peace. Congratulations to Prim. Well done, Prow. Well done, Sydney. Well done, Wan Jern. And finally, well done, Wow.
I would like to congratulate all the students of Year 6 CV. Well done, Sherry. Well done, Chin. Well done, Chris. Congratulations to Indy. Congratulations, Ing. Congratulations to Jane. Well done, Miu Miu. Well done, Nana. Congratulations to Oipen. Well done, Pat. Well done, Pip. Well done, Poon. Congratulations to Tor. And congratulations to Om. It's my very great pleasure to be able to come around to my class last. So I'd like to present them all to you one at a time. So, book. Well done, boss. Well done, Elm. And well done, Jebby. Well done, John T. Well done, May May. Well done, Palm. Well done, Petch. Well done, Ploy. Well done, Prewa. Well done, Syrac. And last but not least, well done, team. Congratulations and well done to Year 5 and Year 6. We have two sets of awards left for our students, and these are class awards. So the first set is for best effort in class, 
And the next set is for highest achiever in class. So for the best effort in class, I'd like to invite Mr. Chris, our interim principal, to come and present those for us, for our students, one from each class. So for best effort in class, from class 1MD, that goes to Jim. For class 1SL, Anda. For class 2LM, Win. For class 2PB, Sand. For class 3DM, Penny. For class 3ZF, Best. For class 4FS, Lena. For class 4NV, Pat. For class 5KS, Jump. For class 5JT, Iraq. For class 6CV, Chin. And for class 6RB, team. Okay, Tim, he's just on his way. Mr. Chris. And so for our last set of awards this morning, I'm going to invite Mr. Rob to come and help give out and announce the students who have got the highest achiever award in their class. Might need to find some glasses for this one. Wherever I've put them. Okay, this is the classic look in your pocket for the glasses moment. Okay, so the highest, uh, best, highest achiever in each class is going to be presented to each pupil by Miss Ruth. So, in 1MD, the pupil selected is Prewa. Now, I've been left with a bit of a challenge here, because some of these... <laughs> One moment. And in one SL, it's Tong Wang. In two LM, it's Dan. In two PB, it's Pun. going to check this one.
From 3DM, we have Prowl. From 3ZF, we have Gus. And from 4FS, we have Matthew. From 4NV, we have Beck. From 5KS, we have Panny. From 5JT, we have Mook. From 6CV, we have Mew Mew. And from 6RB, we have Elm. That concludes the awards part of our ceremony this morning, but next we have um, a guest speaker this morning. We have a former student of SIS, uh, New, and Mr. Chris is going to come and introduce him and his speech to us this morning. Well, good morning, everybody, mums and dads, boys and girls. Um, it gives me great pleasure to um, introduce one of our former students, New, and it has a special meaning for me because New was a student who graduated in my final year when I was here previously. When I was here in t for three years as principal from 2007 to 2010, not many of the students would have been here, but those who are in year five were in year one, and those who were in year six were in year two. But 2010 is special. The year that I left was the first year that we had a year 13 that sat its A-levels, and all the students went off to universities, either in Thailand or abroad. And some went to uh, places like uh, New went to, Chulalongkorn, and then others went further afield to Canada, Australia, and we even had one student going to Portsmouth University uh, in the UK, which was only 10 miles from where I actually live, and it was wonderful to see one of the St. Stephen's students actually going into the un nearest university to my home. Since then, we've had a history of successes with regard to university successes. 2010 was just the start. For example, at the moment, we have Poon, I don't know, but yes, Poon, who we have here, who is in Warwick University in the UK at the moment. And what was significant about Poon was that 
When he graduated in year 13, he got the highest total of examination marks for the whole of his A-levels, and he was the number one in Thailand. And now he is in the UK, so let's congratulate him. <laughs> Similarly, we also have Nun, who is in Imperial College London. Now, why was she so special? She was special because when she did her IGCSEs, she achieved 10 grade A stars. So again, she is now doing extremely well, and I have spoken to the father, and the father is very much hoping that his second daughter, who's in year 10 at the moment, will follow her. But perhaps we, in the distance, we can congratulate, and congrat also, congratulate also Noon. Well done. We do, we do have others, and, and a couple that come to mind. The one that we're going to show a picture at the moment is Pry, who went off to Manchester University, and uh, she again left shortly after, it was the year after I had left that she went off to Manchester. And there won't be a picture of this one, but I felt it was very important to say to you that uh, we also have a, a former student who left last year called C, who happens to be the daughter of one of the board of directors and she is in Beijing at the moment studying so we wish her well as well so we can give her a round of applause as well and so the list goes on but in 2010 one of the first students to graduate from St Stephen's in year 13 was New and he is our guest speaker today now New went to Chulalongkorn again on a scholarship and he has just completed, he's just graduated in nanoengineering from Chulalongkorn University. But he's now moving on to even greater things. He is now going to study for his doctorate in Oxford University at St. Cross College. And he starts there uh, in the new academic year. But what's special about him is that he has been awarded a special King's uh, Scholarship. It is the, uh, if I get it right, the Ananda Mahidol Award, which is a very special one. It's only awarded to one student every year, and that student is very special, and in this case, it happens to be new. Not only is he special, he's the number one in Thailand, he is also from St. Stephen's. I'd like you to give a big round of applause to New and welcome him to the stage. Hello. <laughs> so, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to introduce myself first. So, my name is New. So, as you know, I'm the first set of students to graduate from this school. So, I started from St. Stephen's since I'm in year three. So, it's very long time ago. So, I was this small like you guys. And I stayed here until I completed year 13. So that's 10 years here. And I gained a lot of things, both in academic terms and in social terms. To be, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude to be invited to this award ceremony. It is my pleasure for me to come back and give a talk to all of you guys. I also would like to congratulate, congratulate to all your students for your awards and achievements for today. Because I know how it feels these certificates mean to me. It's very important. And if you'd like to be awarded again next year, all you need to do is to keep working hard. Because I believe that all of my achievements that I've gained throughout my entire life are a result of my hard working and putting the best effort into every single thing that I've done. So I believe that this would apply the same thing to all of you to do too. 
for those who do not receive any class special awards, which I view it as a more prestige award, all you need to do is to keep working hard. Work hard and put 100% effort into every single thing, every single homework, every single task, every single ex assignment that you do in class or at home. And you might be standing up here again next year with this class award. But regardless that if next year you don't get any of these awards, you should be proud of yourself because there's nothing more important than you give your best on your work. Because when you did your best, you don't need to be number one because I'm, I actually are not number one in my class in, in Chula Longhorn, but people see me as the one who gives the best effort in, in every single work that I've done. So I think this is the reason that I got the scholarship as well as got admitted to Oxford. When you did your best and put all your effort in every single thing you do, your parents are going to be proud of yourself, your teachers are going to be proud of yourself, and I believe that you are also going to be proud of yourself too. And if that's not enough, well, I can be proud of you too. Working hard today set a solid foundation for you to develop into upper years because your education won't stop here. It will continue more than the college. And even though I finished my PhD degree, I still need to learn. Education is lifelong. So it will continue until you die. So if you have a solid foundation by working hard today, you will be prepared for every single thing in the future. I believe that. So just believe and yeah, just believe in me that 100% effort is the key to success. I wish you all success. Thank you. Thank you, New. What wonderful words and what a wonderful message to conclude our ceremony with. So, to finish our ceremony this morning, I'm going to invite Year 3 ZF. They're going to perform for us a piece from their time music class. So we'll welcome Year 3 ZF.
thank you, Year 3. And that concludes our awards ceremony this morning. So I'd like to congratulate all our students once again for all their hard work this academic year. I wish you all a great summer. Have a good rest. Come back nice and refreshed in August, ready to start the new term. So now I would like to invite parents. If you would like to go outside, you may enjoy our delicious buffet. Um, so if you'd like to go outside, we'll invite parents to go and start enjoying the refreshments first. And then what we'll do as teachers, we will send your children out a class at a time to meet you and take some photographs. Could I just ask as a note of courtesy to parents, um, if you decide to take your child home and not return to school this afternoon, could you please let your cl child's class teacher know? Because in about 15 minutes, we'll be taking the students back to the buses to go back to school for their school lunch and for their classes this afternoon. So if you decide not to take your child back to school, not to let them go on the bus, please let the class teacher know so we can make sure we have all our students ready. So thank you very much, everyone, this morning. Thank you for a wonderful morning, and I hope you enjoy the refreshments. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.